Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. Howdy Stallions! On today's show, learn how Adobe is using AI and how Dolly Parton is making football news. HCA Today starts now. I'm Erin Fox and it is Thursday, October 19th, 2023. Today is National Seafood Bisque Day. Photo editing software maker Adobe is working on some cool new generative AI powered tools and features at its annual Adobe Max Sneaks event in the last week. The company previewed a series of prototype tools that make use of both generative AI and 3D image technology. They include a dress that transforms into a wearable screen and streamlined ways to delete elements from photos. The new capabilities are meant to offer a sneak peek into early stage ideas that might one day become widely used components of Adobe products. Adobe first began adding AI tool Firefly into a Photoshop beta app in May with the goal of dramatically accelerating how users edit their photos. It allows users to add or delete elements with images with just a text prompt. The company said it would also match the lighting and style of the existing images automatically. Dolly Parton is pitching in to help the Salvation Army this Thanksgiving. The country music legend will be performing at the halftime of the Dallas Cowboys Washington Commanders game. It's part of the Salvation Army's Red Kettle Kickoff fundraiser. Parton will ring the traditional Salvation Army holiday bell to jumpstart the holiday giving season. Cowboy fans are also hoping her performance will help them overcome a run of bad luck. Last year's performance by the Jonas Brothers lifted them to a 7-2 record when the big stars perform at the halftime. In HGA News, College Application Day is tomorrow for seniors and early graduation students. They will meet in Ms. Safford's room. Scan the QR code on the screen to sign up and check Google Classroom for more information. We have a film project that we need to start. Oh yeah, we do. You have to ask Mr. Chambers. Only if you're careful. I wish we had more cameras instead of filming stuff on our phones. The quality on our phones are getting even worse nowadays. Even this commercial is being recorded on a phone. Help fund Horse Creek Media by scanning the QR code on the screen. Since it's October, you can dress up in a costume for all of next week. You have the rest of this week to plan your choice. No props unless you can't render without it, or unless you can blur it. What are you supposed to be? I'm Sammy from Bendy. I heard Sammy was ripped, that he was shredded. I heard Sammy had a six-pack. And what about you? I'm Dr. Edvard Richthofen. Chill with the German accent. What are you? I'm Batman. What's their problem? They're afraid of judgment. Coming up, Kirsten pins two superheroes against each other. Let's see who wins. We all know that superheroes always win, but what would happen if we put two against each other? Let's go see what people think. In a battle between Batman and Spider-Man, who do you think would win and why? Spider-Man would definitely win. Spider-Man, because he's him. That's a tough question. Um, let's see. Pro I would say that it would be Batman. Personally, you know, I had to go with my boy Batman. He can swing through the city with his little web, and Batman <coughs> needs a car. He needs the Batmobile. Um, I would probably say Spider-Man. I would have to say Spider-Man. Uh, maybe it would be Spider-Man. Man, this is a tough question. All right, look, give me a second. I'll surprise me. This is a surprise. Okay. No, don't stop it. Don't stop the camera. <laughs> I'm thinking. I got to think. Okay. You, 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 I'm, I'm improv. All right. Uh, improv class. Improv. Yeah, anyway. Because uh, uh. he's bad, man. He's rich. Blood killed Superman. He killed kill anybody. Spider-Man. Why? Because he's just stronger and better. He just 
beat Batman. Because he actually has powers, and Batman's just like a guy in a suit. I'd say Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Why? Because he's got powers. Batman doesn't have anything. He's like a grown man in a cat suit. I think it would be Batman because Batman is, although Spider-Man is smart as well, uh, Batman's uh, smarter. And so Batman will figure out a way to uh, beat him. He's got spidey senses, which I think are very important. And he could knot him up in a web real fast. I personally think Spider-Man would win because he has actual powers. I'm Kirsten Todd reporting for HC today. I think Batman would win in a fight. And that wraps up today's show. Follow us on social media at Horse Creek Media. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel. Just search Horse Creek Media. Reporting for HGA Today, I'm Erin Fox. It's a good day to have a good day.